Hey y'all, today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're trying Ayinga Altbera Dunkel. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and sometimes maybe even mispronouncing. Uh, today we've got an exciting one uh, that we're going to try, but before we get there, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell, and check us out on social media as well. The links are below in the description. I've got Jay, I've got Andy in the attic, I am Ben. Super excited for the beer today, but I cannot pronounce it, I'm sure. So, Andy, what are we drinking? <laughs> I want to hear you say it. Say the name. Um, well, in the States, we say Ayinger, but, uh, you know, old Google Translate uh, was Ayinga Altbera Skutunko. Yeah. So, so we need a comment to see how close we got there. So yeah. we can we cannot look like idiots going forward if we say it wrong. So uh, and how is that? Ainga. 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 Altbersk Dunkel. Altbersk Dunkel. Dunkel. You know, Dunkel. over here we call them Dunkels, but yeah. German pronunciation is more Dunkel. Um, so let's I'm crack thirsty. and pour, and I'll tell you all a little bit about this type of beer and as well as the brewery. Pretty cool little bottle yeah. cap. Yeah, absolutely the best bottle cap uh, that, that you can probably find out there. Uh, so, And that's actually absolutely love these. a view of their yeah. brewery in their town. Like on their website, the picture is exactly that uh, arrangement of buildings Interesting. that they show. Dust boot? Uh, uh, no, this is a. Oh. I, I guess a, a woman a mug, in huh? her. Yeah. Durndal. Her what? Durndal? Isn't that the, the outfit that the ladies wear at Oktoberfest? Oh, okay. So I was. The little oh, I cross see stitching yeah, and. Like a bodice know. type of thing. Okay. Yeah. A little, it's got a little bow on the back. So. Well, aren't you cute? Yes. <laughs> if they can't serve them to you in your house, <laughs> you serve in them. There you go. Mm. Cheers, mates. All right. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Oh, uh, it's been a while, but it's so good. So you've had this one before. Yeah. This is uh, Dunkel. It, technically, it's um, any dark beer. Like a German dark can be a, a wheat or a, a lager. This one is specifically a dark uh, Munich lager. So it uses darker roasted malt and darker than the pale lagers do. And specifically, Ayinga Altbersk Dunkel has <laughs> five types of malts lightly hopped. You're, you're getting good at that. Um, I'm working on it. Assuming you're pronouncing it correctly, you're getting good at pronouncing it that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with what I'm going with. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is 5% and ABV and 21 IBUs. Oh, man, it's won <clears throat> numerous awards. It's a big bottle. Yeah. It is. Big boy. Yeah, I've, I've had other of Iyenga Spears, uh, not this one personally, uh, but they all come in this larger uh, size. What is, I guess this is 500 milliliters, one pint and nine ounces. So, mm -hmm. yep. That's your big boy. Yeah, just a little over, it's like one point, point nine fluid ounces. So it's just a little over a pint. Um, uh, I missed the point in there. Sorry about that. Yeah, you missed the point. What is the point? Well, you're getting me excited. excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's only 5%, so we're good. Hey, have you had uh, this before? Jay? I have not. No, no sir. Sorry. Uh, gotcha. I was busy pouring. Gotcha. This is um, brewed in the uh, the town of Aying, 
it's in the Bayern region of Germany. Uh, I guess states is like there. We have the states. I think Bayern is theirs. Um, it's upper Bavaria. It's about 25 kilometers from Munich. And the brewery is called Ayinga. Oh, private brewery. Private brewery, but they call it private brewery. It's and a I micro see, brewery. And I see it's uh, uh, brewed according to the purity law of yep. 15, 16, which I know we've talked about that previously yeah. here. All oh. of their beers that they're at this brewery are done by that. Um, the uh, you didn't want to pronounce that, Reinheitsgebot? No, I wanted to skip that one. Uh, uh, skip that word there. So skip I, I, do, I do good to pronounce the uh, I do good to pronounce the English words. So yeah. uh, you know, I, I don't really want to try any that are not native to to my land. Yeah, it, the brewery started in eighteen seventy seven. And 10% of their production is exported. Wow, that's all. Because mm-hmm. I've got I got this in here in Mississippi. Yeah. We've seen it other places. You know, when our, our trip recent trip to Birmingham, they had uh, some of these and, and some other of their uh, yeah, we have in north in North Alabama as well. It's been uh, yeah, and for a microbrewery. Oh, that's crazy. Um, most of it goes to the UK and the US, their exports. And it's one, like I said, this one's particularly has won multiple awards at their national and international um, type of uh, competitions. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Uh, is that the extent of the nerding out that we shall be doing this evening? Yeah. I'm, I'm back down to just regular Andy. Just no living the nerd. dream in an attic. No more nerd Andy. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's uh, make the rounds and, and put a number on this one. Um, Andy, you've had it. Jay, you have not. I have not. Jay, why don't you go first? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to go first. Um, it's it's a very easy drinking good beer, I think. You know, it's not overly heavy as I would have expected. So um, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy the roasted malts. Um, I think I'm going to go 8.0 on this one. Yeah, I think uh, I'm right there with you. 8.0 was my score as well. Um, I think it's really good um, and uh, has really great flavor. I can see why it's won awards. Um, you know, this one uh, tastes great. And, and yeah, with the 5%, it's easy to drink and, uh, definitely could enjoy, you know, multiples on this one. Um, so yeah, eight, eight for me. Well, it's going to be an easy, uh, overall, cause I was thinking an eight as well. I like that, that roast, that, that multi sweetness mm-hmm. to it. Uh, it's what I expect, you know, from a German dark lager, like a dunkel like this. So, uh, I just want to have it some meat and potatoes and, and a little beer garden and, just have a great time. All right. That will obviously give us an eight for the Ayinga Outbrisk Dunkel. Uh, so that's about the best uh, I'm probably going to be able to do here, but really great beer. Um, uh, you know, uh, interesting that we have seen it in multiple places in the U.S., but definitely with such a low export amount um but yeah if you pick it up or you know pick up any of their beers i think uh you're in for for a treat so uh definitely give this one a shot uh if you see it and uh hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as we have uh for jay and andy in the attic i am ben appreciate you guys watching cheers mates cheers mates got to look at the color look at that it's a beaut